So most people know that you can create a web form using Zoho Forms and have that submission come into your Zoho CRM as a new lead and then automate an email notification going to an internal person, alerting them that a new lead has been added to the system. But did you know that you can put a button on that email so that with one mouse click, it will jump that person directly into the new lead record that was created rather than having to waste time going into the CRM and searching by that new lead by their name? Well, let's get into it. I'll show you how. Here we have a form that I've set up in a test system. Let's say Joe from Joe's Bike Shop comes into my website and fills out this form and then submits the inquiry. Now within a few seconds, I will have an email in my inbox alerting me that a new lead has been created in my Zoho CRM. So the email just came into my inbox. Let me drag it over here. And it's a very simple email template just saying that a new lead has been added to Zoho CRM and it's giving me the lead's name, their company name, their email address, and whatever comments they put in to the form when they filled it out. But now if I want to go to this lead record and maybe do some research or put in some notes or, or do whatever, I've got to go into the CRM, search for Joe Smith, find him, and then open up the record. So wouldn't it be nice if we can add a button to this email template, which would give us one click to go straight to the lead. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we are in Zoho CRM. Let's go to our email template. Okay, so here's our email template that you saw put to use just a moment ago. And now before we add a button to this email template, what we need to do is we need to figure out what the URL would be that that button will navigate us to when we click on it. And what we want to do is we want to go into Zoho CRM to the leads module and then open up any lead record. It really doesn't matter. And what we want to grab is this section of the URL. So everything to the left of the actual number that you see at the end, that number is the ID of the lead. So what we're gonna do is take this text over here and copy it. Now there's an org identifier here. This is gonna be different for anybody. You know, my org is gonna have a different number than yours. So don't put the number that you're seeing on my screen, it won't work for you. All right, so make sure you go to a lead record in your own CRM and copy this section of the URL, get it into your clipboard. Then we're gonna go back to our email template. And what I'm gonna do is paste that text here. And then I'm gonna type the pound key, which will give me the ability to insert merge fields. And we're going to append the lead ID, just like that to the end of that link, okay? Now we don't want it to look ugly like this. We want to put this link behind a button. So what we're gonna do is grab that whole URL with the merge field at the end for lead ID, copy that into our clipboard, and then we're going to add a button over here. Let's say we want an oval button. And the button name is what is the text that you see on the button. So let's say we call this go to lead. And then the URL, we're going to paste what we just copied from the body of the email template which is that whole URL plus the lead ID. So we'll save that. And now that we have that configured in a button, we can get rid of this text here. You can configure the text on the button, bold colors, all that kind of stuff. We're just gonna keep it simple for now and save that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is let's fill out our form again and we'll see this all put to use. Okay, so I have this form filled out. Let's submit it again. And then now within a few seconds, we'll have that email come into my inbox. So now the email came into my inbox. Let's take a look at that email. It's the exact same email, but you see now we have a button click at the bottom to go to that lead in the CRM. So if it opens up in our browser and brings us straight to that new lead that was created. That's it.